Hey y'all, what's up? Uh, I know I haven't posted in a while because I've been busy with stuff, but my sister's in town and she loves, I mean, is absolutely obsessed with makeup. So before church, she's trying to get me to um, get my makeup done. Neutrogena Hydra Boost Gel. It's great for oily skin types, which I am and I think Kayla is too. Um, a gel moisturizer is uh, water-based instead of oil-based, so it won't clog up your pores if you're oily. So once you've got that um, good and rubbed in, okay. we're going to add a primer, which you don't have to do this step, but I like to do this step. Um, I think it gives a more flawless finish. This is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer, and as you can tell, I love it because it is almost empty. You need only a very, very tiny bit of this primer, um, and you only really wanna put it I mean, if you want to put it all over, you can, but I only put it on my um, cheeks and on my T-zone. So it's got an L on it. Yep, the loser. Gotcha. Okay. So, um, the next product I'm using is the CoverGirl Vitalist um, Elixir in shade Creamy Natural. This has got some B vitamins in it, and it's got a sunscreen, which I always like to have a sunscreen in my foundation. So, that's what we're going to use on Kayla. Hopefully, this is your shade. Notice I'm trying not to let any of the dots be too thick. That's because if you put too much product on your face, you're just going to feel heavy all day. So I'm going to take um, the Y6 brush for Morphe, and I'm just going to stipple it out. You know, I don't know a lot about makeup, but I know Morphe is like your new hit thing right now, and it really is awesome. Hey. There's Dee Dee. <laughs> Dee Dee's trying to get her five seconds. Look at me. We really should put your hair up. So I am really into makeup and honestly, I don't know why I spend so much time doing this in the morning because nobody cares but me. But I just love it. I love going into work feeling pretty. And so I spend the time. Okay. You feel good and blend it out? Yeah. Look at me. Look that way. Great. Okay. So, I've got a nice finish on ya. So next, if I can find it in my messy makeup bag, I'm going to use the Better Skin Concealer by Maybelline. This has um, acrylic acetyl acid in it and it's oil free. So I like that. So the I don't always like to use products for um, their intended purpose. So this is the Maybelline Fit Me Shine Free Stick. It's supposed to be mattifying. And um, I get it in a much darker shade than I need and I've been using it as a contour stick. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick to like a three. So I'm gonna draw a three on each side, see numbers, a three on each side of her face. And then I'm also going to draw some lines on her nose and then right under her lips to give her a fuller lip. Like I need bigger lips. So, three. Okay, three. See, whoa. Ooh. Threes. Okay. okay. Here, go like this. Uh, go like this. Okay, and then look at me straight on so I can get your nose. We make my nose any smaller, it's just gonna fall out. <laughs> no, I was actually thinking about that. I was like, my nose, really is, already, nose, contour. My nose really? is already tiny. Oh, so the brush that I Can I'm we do a neck contour? Is the R14 by Morphe. And the one I used to blend out for her Show the uh, brush concealer, like sorry. This is the M536 for Morphe. Show the can. Oh, this, well, this isn't what they came in, but um, this is called the Copper Dream Set. I oh, we just had to cut it off because mom thinks that she knows everything. She thinks that we look funny doing this. Okay. We don't look funny doing this. I, we I think we look kind of funny. Professional people. Show, show. It's got such a shimmer to her face. Um, this brush is another of the Copper Dream set by Morphe. It's just like a little powder brush. My it's pimple's still there, Lacey. A little tapered at the end. Let me see. Can we just put a band-aid there? No, don't put a band-aid. It draws need attention a, to we it. We can do a band-aid and then just blend over it. So. Putting a foundation on it, it'll go away, right? I'm also going to use, and just because 
I love it. I love the way this product smells. <laughs> so I use it every day, just a little bit of it so I can pretty much smell it. This is the Butter Bronzer from Physicians Formula. My friend Corey told me about this recently. Butter, I like butter. Smell this stuff. It does smell good. It smells like coconut. So, Although I hate coconut. I know. Uh, One thing she won't eat. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I'm just going to put a little bit of this in the crease. <laughs> there wouldn't have found. Can you flip? <laughs> Turn back to me. Okay. Y'all do that thing when you go. Um, Ooh, look. I got, I got ponytail. Um, you're not doing it, Lacey. Gosh, you have no beat. Oh, I don't no. know what you're doing. Um, um, there you go. <laughs> you can't just copy me. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. So Things are getting weird after 45 minutes of taping. Sorry. So now, we're just going to lay down. I don't think I brought an eyeshadow. Don't say primer. lay down a foundation. We've got eight layers on <laughs> right now. Um, no, actually, I was going to do eyeshadow primer, but I forgot to put on some blush. This is the Milani Powder Blush. I really like that. It's 5 Morphe Palette. Um, it's Nature Glow. It takes up half your face. It does take up a lot of space, but it is gorgeous, and these shadows blend out so well. I'm a big fan. As you can tell, half the stuff I've used has been Morphe, but I just actually like the stuff, so... We're gonna use um, this color right here to soften up that uh, concealer we just put down. I was about to say that's what people, that's what the YouTubers do when, when they're showing the colors, like point to it. So this is a, another the Copper Dream set, and I'm using it because it has a pointed tip. I'm gonna just gonna um, take a darker shade. I'm gonna do this one right here, and yes, I'm, and I'm just gonna roll it in there so it just gets on the tip, and then tap it off off the excess. So you put it on and then you hit it off. Well, you do, if you don't, you're going to have fallout all underneath your eyes. Okay. All right, so close Because, you know, that makes complete sense. And I'm just going to buff it into the crease right there. It's bearing into my soul right now when you do that. Be sweet. So recently, I tried Makeup Revolution Slay. Hashtag Slay palette. I'll show it to you. I love the packaging on this. How cool is that? But. You mean you tried the new makeup? And I actually hated it. The shadows do not blend out well. They're not very pigmented. But and it's a cool package. It is a cool package, but I won't be using it, so. <laughs> I won't be using it. Because there was also a ton of fallout and it ruined my look. Well, not completely. The look was okay. Oh, I'm starting to see beautifulness. Yeah, it took a while, didn't it? <laughs> look at all my dimples. I'm so cute. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Ella made up a um, fake language when we were growing up, and she still makes the sounds, and I just pick up on Because Lacey like used too many big words, I had to make up my own stuff. Okay, so we're going to go in, and by the way, this was the shade that I just put on her inner corners. I'm going to go in with a dark, dark shade. So we're going to deepen up that crease and give it some more depth. Um, I'm going to use this dark brown shade right here. And again, I'm just going to get this on the tip of the brush. I don't want a ton of this. I just want to give it some depth right in the crease. Okay, so we're just going to put a shimmer shade, sh shimmer shade, no, that's too dark. We're going to put, that, that one, yeah, except that one. Uh, we're going to put a shimmer shade in the middle of her lid to give Literally it Literally every shade I picked, she said no. Yeah, so we're going to take this really pretty, like, rose gold, rose gold, bronzy shade. I love rose gold. My phone's rose gold. And we're just going to pack it, so notice when I was putting in the shadows, I put, it kind of in a triangle over here and then a little triangle over here and then I left the middle as blank as possible that was for the shade because we're just gonna pack it on the middle of the lid it would really help if you faced me thank you and you don't want to try and blend the shimmer shades you just want to pack it on like 
Then, okay. close, close your. See how I'm just like dotting it on her lid? She's not like giving me a good shot, but I'm just kind of packing it on versus trying to blend it into the shade. Okay. And you're only packing it on one spot? Yep. You'll see. So the reason I'm doing that, have you guys ever seen like, um, it looks kind of ombre. If you do this, especially because the inner corner is the lightest and the outer corner is the darkest and you got a shimmer in the middle, it looks like kind of gradient. Really cool. Okay. Check it out. You probably can't see from the thing. Oh, I was thinking I like those colors. My eyebrows are already coming in. Yeah, every girl waits for that day. So I'm just gonna take that that uh, buffer that I was using earlier and I'm just gonna kind of soften up the lines. Okay. And then I'm gonna take- I'm definitely using this makeup to do my, my 100K shoot. I wish that you had been you would be here today to help me with it. Sorry, I have a baby shower to go to for my cousin on my husband's side. So I'm gonna take this E36 little tiny um, topped brush. It's just a rounded top. It's really great for grabbing a shimmer shade to put in your um, inner corner and at the top of your brow bone. So I'm gonna take this like pinky glittery shade right here and I'm just gonna dot my pinky, brush that's in a it. that's great vocabulary word. Pinky. Pinky. And I'm just gonna dot it into Kayla's inner corner. This is really great. Oh, be gentle, gosh dog it. I am being gentle, gosh dog it. This is really great for helping you look awake. Like it just gives it a fresh look and keeps you looking, you know, awake. So I'm just gonna dot it across her brow bone. I'm not well, awake right now. Or sweep it across her brow bone, I should say. I have a brow bone. You do. I thought it was just forehead. That's not true. And you want to be really light-handed with this because it does show texture, just like highlighter shows texture. So you'll be able to see any flaws on the skin if you put too much on there. Okay. I'm flawless. So we are going to give her a highlight. This is the Makeup Revolution Golden Sugar 2 Rose Gold Palette. It is absolutely gorgeous. And it is nothing Look like how pretty the it is, eyeshadow. Can you tell it's like marbled? It's nothing like the eyeshadows I was talking about earlier. Um, their highlight um, is I need that. on point. So we're gonna go in, that's too light for you. We're gonna go in with this pinky gold shade. Kind of like, it does actually remind me of sugar. And we're just gonna take the R36 highlight brush from Morphe and we're gonna sweep it right where it's so the rule with highlighter is you want to put it where the light would hit your face look it's already doing it though right so you put it where the light would hit your face so oh this, this is all highlighter yeah it's not i know she was like please use that as my eyeshadow i'm like it's not eyeshadow. <laughs> i know a lot about makeup you can tell and we're just gonna sweep it see how the light would hit her face right there can you see it is gorgeous. This highlight is gorgeous, and I always put way too much on. But I want to look like a robot. Give me all of it. Oh, I'm just gonna notice how we contour the nose. We're gonna put the highlighter in the middle of the nose, right where we left that hole when we were snatching out that nose. No, I don't know. And I'm gonna put a little bit over her. I don't know what that's called. There is a word for it in the bottom of her chin. And we're ready for eyeliner and falsies. Um, the eyeliner we're going to be using. Wait, you don't have it already laid out? Oh, sorry. It's gonna find it. Hold on. It is the Maybelline Unstoppable Eyeliner. And we're gonna, oh, help. in Onyx. And we're gonna follow it up with the L'Oreal Voluminous <laughs> Mascara. And we're going to pop this on, and we'll catch up with you after we have everything on. Mm -hmm. Y'all. Hold on. Y'all see this? Hold on, let me do the thing. <laughs> what is it? Don't 
Don't blame me for the eyeliner. She did that herself. <laughs> look how beautiful I look, y'all. I don't have to look at the camera. Look how beautiful I am. Okay, put it down. And let's... So, what we used for eyelashes. Oh, gosh. Look at this. Okay, oh, just look like away. Baltzy lashes. And for her, we used these really gorgeous, like, fanned out dark ones. I didn't put any on, but we're also gonna put on a little bit of lipstick. This is Maybelline's Matte Raw Chocolate 560. And it is Yay, beautiful. Yay, lipstick, I love lipstick. Nude. Hey, I can put on your own lipstick. I know how they live. Well. Mm -hmm. Okay, turn to me. You always wanna get right. Up to the line. Okay. <gasps> I have that? Okay. I never even used it. <laughs> All right. Look at me. Let's now I'm gonna use the Mac Fix Plus to set her makeup. So close your eyes. No, I'm not ready. I don't care. How is that you're not gonna fall off my Just, face now? We let it dry. Gosh, it smells like a woman's restroom. <laughs> that stuff smells beautiful. It smells beautiful and you just spit on me. All right, that is the finished look. What do you guys think? Comment below. Goodness gracious, Lacey. Look at, y'all look at this. You look good. You do look really good. I know, like this is like the <laughs> this is like the best makeup I've ever had. That's Lacey.